So we look at this program called KPCLI. It's a command line password manager. So if you ever use KeepPass, basically this is the uh, command line interface to that. So install it. It's just called KPCLI, and that's how you will run in here. Um, you can type out help to get the uh, all the commands that you can run. Um, if you ever use, you know, any Unix commands, it's basically the same thing. So I'll give you an example here. Right, so like to say for example, cd, uh, ls command, the uh, mkdr command, the move command, and so on and so forth. Not really that difficult to follow here. So I'm going to assume this is, um, you know, your first time using this and you don't have a, um, what is that, a database, uh, the kdb file I mean. So we're going to use this command, save as, and we're going to create a new, you know, database file. And we're not going to create the key, we're just going to create the file only. Um, so to do that, we're going to do save as, and we we'll call this one my, what is that, key pass dot kdb, right? And I'll tell you to type in your master password. This one is very important. You have to create one, and you have to remember what it is. Otherwise, you can't access the file anymore, okay? So I'm going to call this one, I don't know, master blaster or something and retype it and there you go that's it you're done with that you can actually quit out of this and confirm it too if you want so this is the file we just created if you already have one um you know a keep pass file i believe this one only works with version one so if you have version two you might not be able to use it but you can try and see if it works anyways um let's type out kpcli dash dash help here Right, you can actually uh, use this flag here if you already have an existing one, um, and uh, you know you want to use that. So, for example, you do kpcli dash dash kdb, and in the file that we just created, right? And when you open the file, it always uh, you know it's always going to ask you your master password. So that's why it's very important to remember it. Uh, otherwise, if uh, you know you forget it. You're not going to be able to use it. Uh, so let's list out the help page again here. Right, so the first one we're going to, you know, probably, well, some of the common ones we're going to use is the ls command. And uh, we're also going to use the groups here, but ls here. And by default, when you create the file, they give you two groups, so emails and, and internet. If you want to create more groups, you can do mkdir because it's basically just a folder. And let's say we do banking. And then we hit Y for yes. Let's say we create another one. We'll call this one um, gaming. Right, hit Y for yes. And you see now if we list it out, um, they have banking and gaming that we created. Right. And so let's go into banking. So CD banking. And right now there's nothing in there. If we list it out, there's nothing in there. But if we want to create a new one, a new entry we do new and we'll call this one I don't know um, Wells Fargo but that our username now this one is if you want to you know generate one yourself the the password that is all you do is type in G and then enter and it'll auto generate it it's not going to show you anything right and but it'll auto generate in the background Anyways, um, the URL, so we'll call this one, I don't know, wellsfargo.com or something, not sure. And this one is your comments and notes section. So if you have any comments you want to type in, like, oh, um, I don't know, this is my bank. I made a uh, bank account, whatever, made in, I don't know. 2008 or something right and sometimes they give you like a uh, a question like what is your middle name or something like that and your answer should be not to answer that question but something else like uh, I like pizza or some shit right so something like that and then when you're done you say I don't want to write any more comments you use a period here like they tell you to do uh, so you type in period and you hit enter and then you hit Y and I'll save it, right? And you can list out again 
And now we have the uh, Wells Fargo uh, entry that we just created. And they have the, you know, the, the website here on the side. Um, if you want to create another one, um, you can just type new. And this time, I'm going to say, I don't know, Bitcoins or something. Right? And the username, we'll put it under our username again. And the password, let's say we're not going to generate a password, we're just going to type in ourselves. Uh, and we're just going to call this one money, okay, that's it, money. And the URL, I, I guess, uh, I don't know, www.bitcoins or something. I'm not sure if that's correct, but whatever. This one, we're not going to write any comments, we're just going to put period and then enter and then Y for save. And that's it, now we're listed out, we have two entries, so it'll start at zero. And it'll go to uh, one here, right? And then so on and so forth if you add more. Um, so if you want to show you know your um, your entries that you did, you can do show and this one's zero for Bitcoin, so you zero. And you see here it shows you your title and the username and the URL and stuff like that, even notes if you type anything. Uh, but the password it's not graded out, it's read out or read it out, okay. Uh, but if you want to show the whole thing, you can do show dash f for the full thing and zero. And now they show you the password that we created, which we just call it money, right? Um, same thing if you do the other entries, like uh, for Wells Fargo, we're going to use um, instead of zero, we'll do one, right? And this one is the password that they generated for us because we used the generated um, G hotkey, right? So, and you know, they give you like the notes that we had to, right? And so on and so forth. Uh, so that's how you, you know, show your um, listing for your entries there. Uh, other things you can do is, what else are we gonna do in here? Oh yeah, okay, let's say for example, if you wanna copy um, the password to the clipboard, um, you can copy the username and the URL also, also and also clear it after you use it for security purposes, right? So, for example, if I wanted to copy, um, let's say, for example, this Wells Fargo thing here, I can do XU for copying username, and then one, and you see that it'll say um, username is copied to, you know, clipboard or whatever. And so, for example, if I paste it into here, I can do middle click, and I'll paste in my uh, username, right? Uh, if I do for password, so XP for password and one, and now I'll copy the password. So if I do middle click, it'll actually paste in, um, you know, my uh, password for that. So that's how that works. And you can do that for other entries. So if I want to copy, uh, was it uh, XW? That one will copy um, the URL, and you see so on and so forth, right? Not that difficult. Uh, anything else in here? Help page. If hmm, let's see here. Okay, let's say you want to edit something. You use the edit command. So, for example, you can do. Uh, let's say for bitcoins. Uh, you can do edit zero. I think you can do, and that's the title, the username. And the password, let's say you want to change the password to auto generate, you can do uh, G, enter, and that's it. Uh, you want to write a new comment? Uh, I don't know, I'll say uh, updated password on what's today? 228, 14, all right. And then period for done, and then yes, save it. And now we can show it here and zero uh, so see this is our new generated password and this is our notes for that so if you want to edit that's how you would edit and anything else this is CD backwards all right so you can list out all your stuff here now they do have another command here what was the one called uh, the find command so let's say you have a lot of entries and you know you don't know what the hell is that is it, is it either in your um, 
your banking is either in your emails or gaming or internet you can always use the find command and let's say we find uh, I don't know Fargo if I can find it there you go it says one match found right and do you want to show this entry and you say yes and there you go it shows you your uh, Wells Fargo account and stuff like that all right in your banking path uh, so that's pretty much it for the program really not that hard to use and pretty convenient right but uh, when you're done with your you know copying and pasting from uh, you know to your clipboard or whatever make sure you clear it out right so y'all do is type in XX and it'll clear out your clipboard um, so that's it and other stuff you can do in here it's not that difficult but uh, all the common stuff I just talked about is already there for you. Um, anyway, it should be in your repositories. And what version am I using? Let's type in the version here. I'm using version 2.4. This one actually allows you to do autocomplete. Like for example, we did before was um, was a save as, and you push tab, it'll actually finish it and stuff like that, right? Uh, as far as the other ones. Uh, they don't let you do autocomplete. I tried the one on uh, Debian. I think it was like 2.3 or something. It doesn't allow you to do autocomplete. So, for example, you do CD banking or something like that. You can do a uh, tab and it'll autocomplete it, right? Um, so on and so forth like that. Anywho, after you're done, you can always type in uh, save if you need to save it. And it'll say save. Um, and then if you want to quit out of it, just type in quit, right? And then you hit enter and now you have your file here so that's it for the command line interface for KeePass. pretty awesome you know if you want to use it and it should be in your repositories on other distributions too but depending on what version you have um, you know they might have less features or they don't have the autocomplete thing um, anyways that's it for this one